We are back with you live here from La Conca, the third round of the WSK Super Master Series. Well, normally we would expect the carts to be placed on the grid, which they will do, but something a little bit different this afternoon. Unfortunately, we had some tragic news during the week. One of our long-time colleagues, Ronnie Getze, 30 years of age, passed away of sudden illness just two days ago. A friend... Round of applause from all the drivers, mechanics, and all the fans here in the stand here at La Conca. A friend of everyone in the WSK promotion family always had a smile on his face. It's difficult to keep composed in conditions like this under these sort of circumstances. But a fitting tribute to our late friend, Ronnie Getze, with all the carts lined up on the grid. We'll pause for a minute's silence to remember Ronnie Getze. Ronnie had friends all around the world. Such is the nature of the world karting these days. Anyone who's ever read Tea Karting magazine, both the paper version or online, he had no enemies in the world. He was a friend of absolutely everyone. And I know there's a lot of people mourning all around the world for our friend Ronnie Getzi. A fitting tribute here at La Conca from all the KZ2 drivers who will race the final in a few moments' time. It's not so much now that the impact's felt, but it'll be in the weeks, months to come, the races that Ronnie won't be at. We remember the late Ronnie Getze. Well, as difficult at that as this is, we do have a race ahead of us. The KZ2 final. With the carts now being placed onto the grid. 29 of the fastest kart racing drivers in the world will do battle around this La Conca circuit. In a few moments' time. The front row of the grid. We'll see the Finnish driver, Simo Puhaka, for CRG, start from pole position. That's Douglas Lindbergh from Sweden, who's been driving really well this weekend. He will start out of position number nine alongside former World Cup winner, Jonathan Tonon. Paolo De Conto from Treviso. Fastest qualifier on Friday evening. Two heat wins. Third in the pre-final, that's Marco Ardigo. Needs no introduction, the factory Tony Kart pilot.
Jordan Lennox Lamb from England in the Birrell Art Cart. Luca Corberti, probably the tallest driver in the field in the Tony Cart. There's Anthony Abbas, finished second at Castelletto di Branduzzo in the number 44 Soddy Cart from France. Jakovacci, he's been really impressive in the Danilo Rossi cart all weekend. Comfortably inside the top 10 despite not qualifying so well. The third round of the WSK Super Master Series here at La Conca Muro Lecese. This man also needs no introduction. He was European champion way back in 1994. Some 21 years ago when some of these drivers were not even born. The five-time world champion David Foray qualified fourth. Had an engine issue in heat number one. From there he had to fight his way from the back of the grid. We'll start out of grid number 12 in the Maxter powered CRG. Rosati also in the CRG. Jorge Pescador, the number five Praga cart, or George the Fisherman, the young Spaniard from Valencia. That's what his name, name literally translates into in English. Jorge Pescadore in the number five Praga. There he is, the bottom right of your screen. The impressive alpha cart driver from France, Nicole Gonal, and also Jeremy Iglesias. He is out of grid number eight here this afternoon as the three-minute board goes up. CRG versus Tony Cart on the front row of the grid. Patrick Hayek from the Czech Republic in the Praga chassis. Starts out of grid number seven, Perilla engine for Patrick. Stan Pex in the Intrepid. He is alongside Jorge Pescadore on the seventh row of the grid. Douglas Lundberg, he's been fantastic all weekend for the Cosmic Racing Team. The Swedish driver, out of nine, alongside Tornon, as we mentioned. Benjamin Tornquist, on the ninth row of the grid, alongside the KSM Racing driver, now owned by Ralph Schumacher, from Cologne in Germany. The KSM Racing driver in number 48, the Vortex-powered Tony Kart. Rick Driesen had a big coming together with Arno Kozlinski in the pre-final. We have to go back to the 13th row of the grid to find Rick in the Ricardo cart. Perilla engine, Arno Kozlinski, the 14th row of the grid. Position number 27 for the 2009 World Karting Champion, the number 43 Soddy cart. A lot of work to do to this afternoon. If he's going to win it today, he's going to have to pull off the drive of his life. Rick Driesen on the 13th row of the grid. Arno Kozlinski on the second last row of the grid behind Gabriel Durante and Jorit Pex, the Dutch driver and non-finisher in the pre-final, will start from Stone Motherless last. The one-minute board goes up. The engines will fire into life in just a few moments' time. Jeremy Iglesias in the Alpha Cart from France has been fantastic all weekend. Don't discount him stepping up onto the podium this afternoon. The green flag waves. The carts are pushed into life. These 125cc engines generating close enough to 50 horsepower. We'll speak about their speed during the race. Absolutely frightening how fast they go down the main straight into turn number one. This is the grid. Puhaka alongside Ardigo. De Conto, Lennox Lamb. Anthony Abbas, Flavio Camponeschi. Patrick Hayek, Jeremy Iglesias. Douglas Lundberg lines up alongside former World Cup winner, Jonathan Turnon. David Fora and Francesco Iacovacci share the sixth row of the grid. Stan Pex and Jorge Pescadore, Nicole Ganal. Bartosz Itzkowski, Benjamin Tornquist is alongside 
Alexander Schmitz, as we mentioned, Andreas Bachmann in the Cosmic Kart alongside Fabrizio Rosati, Luca Corberi alongside the Alpha Karting Machine of Paul Fontaine from France, Marine Kramer is in the Birol Art with a lot of work to do. He starts out of the 12th row of the grid alongside Gianni Vigorito. Giugis Tovalicius in the Danilo Rossi cart is alongside Rek Dresen. The Belgian in the Ricardo cart on the 13th row of the grid. Then as we mentioned, Arno Kozlinski alongside Gabriel Durante and Jorit Pex rounds out this 29 cart field. The third round of the WSK Supermaster Series about to get underway for the KZ2 class here at La Conca. The now infamous turn number six. It is coated with a layer of Vega rubber. Speaking of rubber, Artigo puts down two strips as he accelerates that Vortex powered Tony Kart. Heat into those Vega tires. They will slow up round about now, as you can see. Simon Puhaka will dictate the pace, will pull up on the grid, just like we saw in the Chinese F1 Grand Prix earlier this morning. Four red lights, when they are extinguished, we will be underway in this 20-lap, 20 25-kilometre race. Thanks for joining us on WSK.IT live here from La Conca, the third round of the WSK Supermaster Series, the KZ2 final about to get underway. The grandstand is filled here in southern Italy. 29 of the world's best kart racing drivers, including these two guys on the front row of the grid, Simo Puhaka and Marco Ardigo. Anthony Abbas in the number 44, Sorry, Kart pulls into position. Number three is Jonathan Tonon. Number five, Jorge Pescador. There's Rick Dries in the right of your screen, the blue and white Ricardo Kart. 43 is Kozlinski, pulls over to the left of your screen on the back row of the grid. Is the Frenchman, the 2009 world champion, with it all to do here this afternoon. We're set for a start here for the final, the WSK Supermaster Series. We are green. Ardigo tries to get the start, but it's going to be Puhaka who leads down into turn one. The barrel of Lennox Lamb has been looped twice. He's done two 360s and he's parked in the grass. That's a big shame for the Brit. He's out of the race already as Simo Puhaka leads Marco Ardigo on this opening lap of the race. Paolo Di Conto in third. We've had a big crash in turn number six. We've lost five carts. One of them is the Tony cart. Looks as though that might be Luca Corberi involved. The number seven machine. The yellow flag is out. I don't think we'll go full course yellow. Although we might. Andreas Backman is one of the carts involved. Indeed, we have actually gone full course yellow. The cart, the track is still blocked. There are four, five carts involved in this. Backman is one of them. Also Gabriel Durante. Luca Corberi in the Tony Kart is also out. Rosati. Wow. A sensational start. We've lost five drivers. 29 became 24. Jorge Pescador was involved but has managed to reach it. No, he hasn't. Jorge Pescador is out. Another one of these drivers. We've been robbed of some of the top drivers in this race. Six carts, in fact, involved. Durante, Corbere, Rosati, Backman, Alexander Schmitz, the German. Well, that's the end of his dreadful weekend. He won the pre-final at the Marguti Trophy two weeks ago. But he'll have seven days to prepare for the opening round of the European Championships. The race is still on, although it has been neutralised. Double wave yellows. We'll take stock and get the order refreshed. It is Puhaka who does officially lead from Ardigo. A bus is in third place. The Frenchman in the Soddy cart. Fantastic start by the other Frenchman. Jeremy Iglesias has climbed up into fourth. Are we going to see an alpha cart on the podium here this afternoon? Well, we'll know in 17 laps time. That's him, Jeremy Iglesias. Going through behind his countryman, Abbas. Flavio Kampaneski. He's a new man in 2015. He's very, very determined. He's all won, already won this year. 
Jonathan Tanon is in seventh. He's behind Douglas Lundberg, who we saw, saw start from grid number nine. He's now in sixth. Unfortunately, we've also lost Paolo De Conto from that earlier incident, so we're down to 19 runners, in fact. Jordan Lennox Lamb, we saw him spin on the exit of turn number one. Wow, 29 became 19. We've lost 10 carts, and we've only completed about three corners of racing here at La Conca. The KZ2 final. Simo Puhaka from Finland is still your leader. We expect to go green next time around. The race will be on. Puhaka bunches up. Ardigo is right on his rear bumper. A bus drops down a gear and accelerates hard down the start finish straight for the fourth time. The race goes green. Simo Puhaka in the CRG leads into turn one from Ardigo and Abbas. Kozlinski, it looks like he's making a move into 11 spaces, places. He gets past Tornquist. Fora is just ahead of him. And Nicole Gonal. Jonathan Tanon up into seventh place. Puhaka is your leader. There's Tanon in the Praga cart, number three. Just at the tail of this leading group, a bus. Let's see if the Frenchman can win it. He came within one place of winning the last round three weeks ago in Castelletto di Branduzzo in the Soddy cart. He's on the podium as it stands, but we've still got 15 laps of racing here to go this afternoon. Sima Puhaka, engines and tyres now up to temperature into six gear, throws it into turn one. Ardigo works that steering wheel very hard off that green Tony cart. Abbas, all the while, watches on. Iglesias still driving superbly in fourth spot. Puhaka, Ardigo, Anthony Abbas, Iglesias, Camponeschi, Lundberg, Tonon up into seventh spot. The Belgian for Team Praga Kart. The field starting to spread out just a little bit. The gap between first and second is, you can see it on your screen officially, it's 0.13 of a second. We'll see if that's changed as they come across the line. There's Fore tucked in behind the Danilo Rossi cart of Jacovacci, who himself is trailing Nicole Gonal. Kozlinski into 11th place from 27th on the grid. Rek Dresen is only in 13th spot. Well, the 10 DNFs will hope help both Drazen and Kozlinski. But their chances of getting onto the podium look pretty remote as a bus gets that soddy cart up onto two wheels. We spoke about how much grip these Vega tyres are generating around this La Conca circuit. He was two wheeling it old school style. It was like Formula Super A back in the day. He had the soddy cart up on two wheels. It was spectacular. He's lost a little bit of time doing that though and he knows it because he tucks his head down behind the steering wheel. Puhaka, can he break Marco Ardigo's stranglehold on the WSK Supermaster Series? Remember, Ardigo has won the opening two rounds of the series at Adria Karting Raceway at Castelletto di Branduzzo, but currently the world champion sits in second place. Abbas, a lap ago, he bicycled it through this corner right here. This time around, a little bit more sedate. He was a lot more cautious. Very, very smooth on the steering wheel for the French driver. Flavio Kompaneski, not so much, smashes that Tony Kart over the ripple strip through the centre chicane. There's a bass. The number 44 Soddy Kart. It is number 44 because the Soddy Kart factory is based in the 44th Department or State of France. They've definitely got their eye on the World Championship to be held at Le Mans. Their home circuit on September the 10th, 2015. A bus in third place. So it's a CRG leading a Tony cart, leading a Surdy cart. The Alpha cart, also from France in fourth place. But he's now coming under attack from Flavio Camponeschi. The 2012 KF World Champion is right on the tail of the Frenchman. They race down into the hairpin to start their ninth lap. There's Camponeschi ahead of Tonon. Douglas Lundberg. Jakovacci is ahead of Foray. Then it's Kozlinski. Drezen 
we can tell you, is still stuck in 13th spot. He's behind Jorit Pex. Patrick Hayek is the other Praga cart in 11th behind Kozlinski. Francesco Jakovacci in the Danilo Rossi cart. Driving superbly, he's in 8th spot. In the Danilo Rossi cart, powered by the TM as Flavio Camponeschi goes through in the Tony cart. Jonathan Tonon, the former World Cup winner. The so-called lead Praga cart, where well, we lost Jorge Pescador and the other Praga earlier in the race. Unfortunately for the driver from Valencia. You know, his wife Anna will be watching on from their home in Spain. But unfortunately, Jorge is out. Simo Puhaka. A little bit colder in Helsinki in Finland for the CRG driver than it is this afternoon here in southern Italy. Very, very smooth on the steering wheel. Abbas has managed to pull away quite considerably from his countryman Iglesias, who's still managing to hold off the attack of Flavio Camponeschi. We have passed half race distance here at La Conca. Camponeschi closes in on the back of Jeremy Iglesias. Iglesias, Gonal and Fontaine, the three-cart alpha team from France. Their line is stern down the start-finish straight, as we mentioned in the pre-final. Have a guess how fast they're going. 120, 130, 140? No. 151 kilometres an hour down the start-finish straight at La Conca. In karting, people do, let's admit, they get carried away with the speeds they're going. 100 miles an hour, maybe. Well, these KZ2 carts, they're not far from it. These are not made up figures. These are off data logging telemetry systems. 151 k's an hour. Simon Puhaka will accelerate to in a few moments. And if Ardigo was close enough to get to the slip, get in the slipstream, you could add two or three k's an hour to that. Camponeski has got past the Frenchman Jeremy Iglesias. Iglesias knows he's under attack from Jonathan Tonon. Douglas Lundberg driving superbly. He's in seventh spot from Francesco Jakovacci, Foray Kozlinski, Patrick Hayek, Droid Pex, Rek Drezen, still stuck down in 13th position. The reigning European champion had a big coming together on the opening lap of the pre-final with Arno Kozlinski. There, Drezen now, the number six cart. Puhaka into the hairpin. Drops down a few gears. Now accelerates hard. 50 horsepower out of that Maxter engine. There's a bass. He's, of course, using the TM power aboard the Soddy cart. Every driver here using the Vega tyres, of course, this weekend. The Italian manufacturer. World champion and on the top step of the world karting podium ever since 1980. Fastest lap of the race. Simo Puhaka, 45.6. And now starting put to pull out from Marco Ardigo, the gap is 0.9 of a second back to the Italian, the reigning world champion. Let's not forget, he won the KF World Championship at this very circuit in 2008. That was a year after he won his inaugural world title at Marienburg the year earlier. Of course, he is the reigning KZ World Champion, winning that title in Sarno, September of last year. He's in second spot. The gap is now out to 1.1 seconds. This is three-quarter race distance. The CRG leads the Tony Cart, leads the Sodi Cart, the Tony Cart, the Alpha Cart of Jeremy Iglesias. Still doing a fantastic job to hold down fifth place. Well, maybe we're seeing a turning of the tide with the Italian manufacturers under attack with two different French manufacturers now in the top five with the Sodi Cart and the Alpha Cart. 1.1 seconds, the gap last time round. Marco Ardigo is not one driver to ever, ever concede a race win, but unless he can do something magical in the next five laps, he's not going to do it. The gap remains stagnant at 1.1 seconds. Francesco Jacobacci fighting with Douglas Lindbergh on the inside of turn one, the Danilo Rossi Cart versus the Cosmic Cart. Lundberg in seventh spot now. Jakovacci, 4-8. Kozlinski still rounds out the top 10. Four laps to go at the end of this one, down through the centre chicane. 
recently resurfaced. In excess of 120 kilometres an hour, just in that little section, as they accelerate towards the hairpin before braking hard, turning and onto the start finish straight. And yes, we'll say it again, it's super impressive. 151 k's an hour. Artigo. In second spot from Brescia in Northern Italy. He's been racing for more than two decades. He's won titles before at a national and international level. Formerly drove with Birrell, Topkart and CRG, but it's with the green team that he's found all of his world success. Three world titles with Tony Kart. He'll be aiming for four at Le Mans later in the year, but he'll be scratching his head, his head to be honest, about this performance of the Finn, Sima Puhaka. CRG are back and in a big way. Let's not forget, we lost Paolo De Conto on the opening lap of the race. He qualified fastest on Friday, won two heats. He was super, super quick. Who knows where he would have finished? Not taking anything away from the front three drivers as the yellow flag is displayed. We're down to 18 carts now. Marain Kramers is parked on the side of the track. Unfortunately, the young Dutchman in the Birrell Art is out. That leaves Paul Fontaine in the other Alpha cart, the third of which as our final runner here this afternoon. Abbas on screen. He is 1.1 seconds behind Ardigol, who himself trails our race leader. Well, the gap is now out to 1.4 seconds. He's lost two tenths of a second to the race leader that time round. Camponess behind to see where the main, their main competitor is. The field spread out enough that I don't th think we're going to see a passing move on this final lap. What a drive for Simo Puhaka from Finland. Ardigo again has a look behind him. He's got the second step of the podium, but that's not good enough in the Italian's eyes. It's first or nothing for Marco Ardigo, but he will lead the Supermaster Series going into the final round at Sarno in two weeks' time. For the final corner coming up for this man from Finland, the checkered flag comes out for the driver of the CRG card, Simo Puhaka. He wins it. The crowd erupts in the grandstand in front of us. He's absolutely delighted. Marco Ardigo comes home in second spot. Anthony Abbas puts the Sodi cart on the podium for the second race in a row. Flavio Camponeschi, great drive into fourth. Jeremy Iglesias, fantastic. Well done for Jeremy into fifth place ahead of Jonathan Tanon. David Foray, fantastic drive up into seventh spot from grid number 12. Ahead of Jorrit Pex, Nicole Gonal and Patrick Hayek rounding out the top 10. Well, at the end of the race, from 29 starters, we only had 13 finishes. Of course, we lost Jordan Lennox Lamb on the opening corner of the race. He's walking back to retrieve his stranded Birrell Art. It's got a fresh engine on it and fresh tyres but it's going nowhere. Bad luck for Jordan. We will see him in two weeks' time for the WSK Supermaster Series final in Sarno. Simo Puhaka on the podium at the first round in Adria. Didn't have a good run in the rain in Castelletto, but here at La Conca, he has won for CRG from Finland. Powered by Maxter, the number 26 CRG. Simo Puhaka wins from Ardigo, Anthony Abbas, Camponeski, Jeremy Iglesias, Tonon, Four Apex, Gonal, and Patrick Hayek rounding out the top ten. Well, we will have the podium presentation for you in a few moments. And unusually, Simo Puhaka, for a Finnish driver, showed a lot of emotion coming across the line. We've seen drivers from Finland on the top step of the podium in all facets of world motorsport. Let's just say you wouldn't want to play poker with anybody from Finland. They always keep a straight face. But I think we're going to see a delighted CRG driver, Simo Puhaka, on the stop, top step of the podium in a few moments' time. He will be joined by Marco Ardigo from Italy and the Frenchman, Anthony Abbas. Stay with us on WSK.IT. 
You are watching the third round of the 2015 Super Master Series. We'll be back with you in just a few moments for the podium presentations for KZ2. Stay with us. We're ready for the podium presentations for the KZ2 class. We've got three very exhausted drivers up here about to take the podium. In third place, from France, let's hear it for the Saudi car driver, Anthony Abbas. In second place, the reigning world champion, Marco Ardigo. And the winner for Team CRG from Finland, Simo Puhaka. The third place trophy being presented to the Frenchman, Anthony Abbas. The second place trophy for Marco Ardigo.
and let's hear it for our winner from Finland for Team CRG, Simo Puhaka. We'll now stand by for the national anthem of Finland. A round of applause for our podium, the KZ2 place getters, Anthony Abbas, Marco Ardigo and Simo Puhaka. Our podium, KZ2. Stay with us because we do have the 60cc mini podium coming your way in just a few moments time. As they cross the line is as they will stand on the podium the 60cc mini podium in just a few moments. Thanks for watching on WSK.IT Live. In third place for the 60cc mini class, let's welcome to the podium, Matia Mula. Place for Rocco Negro. And our winner, as he did three weeks ago in Castelletto from Norway, Dennis Helga. Once again, we now stand by for the national anthem of Norway. The 60cc mini podium. Let's hear it for Rocco Alberto Negro, Matteo Mula, and our winner once again, Dennis Halga. Well, thanks for joining us here. What a beautiful sight this is in more ways than one. This has been the third round of the WSK Supermaster Series. We'll see you in two weeks' time at Sarno for the final round. On behalf of all the team at WSK Promotion, we'll see you then. Arrivederci. Ciao.